Speaker Bag is the pipeline subsidiary of the Vancey Group, and it runs a fleet of around 200 Caterpillar pipe layers. When Conrad was asked to provide a model of a Caterpillar pipe layer, it reproduced this Caterpillar 583. It was first produced around 1997, and it was originally based on a Caterpillar D9G dozer model. In fact, this casting still bears the original number of that Cat D9G model, which is 2874. The model comes in a speaker bag branded box, but there's no information about the real machine. In fact, there's nothing to say that it's a Caterpillar machine at all. Inside, the packaging is conventional, with the model contained between a couple of expanded polystyrene trays. And it's a simple enough matter to lift it out of the box. There are no instructions with the model, and there's no assembly or reeving to do, because the model is complete out of the box, with the reeving done also. Underneath the dozer, the detail is fairly basic, with a couple of large silver screws visible. The metal tracks have a heavy construction, and they're not fully painted between the links. The track frames look OK, although there are no working rollers, and both the idler and sprocket wheels are large plastic discs. The radiator grill at the front is produced by the use of graphics, and nowhere on the model do you find the Caterpillar name, with all the graphics being speaker bag. The engine block has some detailing, and the hole for the connection of the dozer blade hydraulic cylinders is visible. The counterweight mechanism is all cast in metal, with the individual slabs all being delineated within the casting. The operator's area is fairly simple, with a seat and some anti-slip texture on the floor. The winch area is all metal, with a couple of black operating knobs at each end. The side boom structure is very simple, and there are metal pulleys at the boom head, and the metal hook is good. If you try the tractor out on a smooth surface, there's a little bit too much friction in the track links for the tracks to roll smoothly. But this model has one of the better sets of crawler tracks. They do uh, roll smoothly independently, and if you put them on a rougher surface, then there's no problem at all with them rolling nicely. There's another feature which the track frames have, and that is that they are transversely linked, so a degree of up and down movement uh, relative to each other is possible. The degree of movement is not great, but you can probably just about see it um, as I demonstrate it here. A pipe layer needs to keep its balance, and that feature has been replicated on the model by the counterweight, which can be pulled out. The hydraulic cylinders which control those counterweight are stiff, so it'll hold any pose that you want to set, and when you've done, you can just close it up. There are two working winches on the model, and these are operated by turning the black knobs on the end of each winch. The hook has only got a single fall of rope on it, and it's easy to raise it and lower it. The other winch operates the side boom, and it can be positioned anywhere from vertical to horizontal. Both the winches on the model are easy to operate, and there's enough friction for them to hold any pose that you want to set. This is a solidly made model by Conrad, with hardly any plastic used at all. It's a very old casting, with some of the detailing not as good as you'd find on some more modern models. But because of its age, it's interesting and unusual and made in limited numbers, so if you can afford the high price, then it's recommended.